Hi everyone, how are you? This is Grace. Do you like my face like this? I don't want to be like this, living up to 100 years. You know, most likely our generation and the younger generation, we would live all the way up to age 100 beyond and most likely we would be working until age 80 or beyond. So let's think, would you like to be working like this? Like a walking dead or live like a zombie? No, not at all. But in reality, there are people who are living this kind of life or they look like a living dead and they don't realize that. And imagine you have to be like this for 100 years. Do you really want it? So that's my today's talk. I believe we are a creature of emotions. And it's all up to you whether you choose to be happy or whether you try to linger all the negative experiences in the past. Yes, it is life. There are good times and bad times, and there are good people and bad people. And uh, I am a happy person because as I wrote in my book, happy people are those who decide to be happy. And unhappy people are, whether or not you admit, but they chose to be unhappy. How about that? Or those who chose to stay on the negative experiences and the negative emotions. So let's think this way. I believe those people who likes to live on the negative past are those who have victim's mind. You know, in English, the word is very close, victim and victor. We choose to be victor, not the victim. And those people with victim's mind are the people who, number one, cannot be 100% responsible for their life. They always believe, oh, I am so unhappy because so and -so, it's so-and-so's fault. It's my parents' fault. It's my mother's fault. It's my family's fault. My ancestors' fault. Society's fault. Country's fault. Always, always, they like to finger point at somebody else, never themselves. But imagine... It is ugly if you always like to blame others. Never take it as though it's a learning lesson. In other words, even Mother Teresa said, there are people come to your life as a blessing and there are people who would come to your life as a lesson. So if you cannot learn from that lesson, imagine you would be living your life just like this for 100 years. And that's terrible. So this is how I would like you to be. Boom. Bah! I want you to be happy and energy. And uh, number one, get rid of the victim's mind. You have to have victor's mind. And the people say, yeah, Grace, I know, but it's still hard. I just cannot forget about that thing or that person. Well, now up to you. You have to decide. Do you want to live the rest of your life all the way up to age 100? Keep thinking about that, being a victim's mind. Or do you want to become a victor? You can be the winner of your life. So, number one, what you can do, you have to forgive that person or you have to forgive that incidence, okay? And uh, love is forgiving. If you cannot forgive that particular person, 
that particular moment, unfortunately, you don't have love in your life. And you can say, yeah, 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 Grace, I have, I have love, I have love, but I just cannot forgive that person. Well, now you have to decide. Do you want to have your rest of your life full of happiness, fun, and love? Or do you want to still keep lingering that negative experience? Hey, let's take a look. Where are your eyes? Where are your eyes? Your eyes are right here. Why? Because big G or universe or whatever, your eyes are here because you have to look forward through the evolutional process. Our eyes are here. But you know, uh, when you go to aquarium, some fish have eyes right here. And uh, if you keep looking back, maybe your eyes are back here. But no, our eyes are up here front, front of the face, because you have to keep looking forward. And if you still cannot do that, then get the job or start something new. Keep yourself busy or keep yourself surrounded by good people. And eventually, you will be the victor. You will be happy. You were born to be happy in this life. You didn't come here to be negative. Okay? That's all for today. So keep looking forward. Keep thinking what you want to be tomorrow. Better you tomorrow. Something good is waiting for you. Okay? Alright, that's all for today. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.